God bless you all. Great to see you here. I just want to recap on some scripture I read out last week. And for true believers who have, who have made Jesus their Lord and their Saviour, uh, the scripture tells us that God is preparing a home for us. And the scripture is telling us that God will abide with us. We'll live with him. He'll be with us. And the scripture I've got here, Jesus is saying that uh, he's preparing a mansion for you. So it's an invitation for you to come into the family and spend eternity in the love of God with Jesus and the rest of the believers. Become a, a child of God be adopted into his family and receive the inheritance that he has for you. Now I want to recap on um, Revelation 21 and it says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and earth ceased to exist. Well that's going to tell you, that's telling you this earth that we're living on right now will It'll dissolve, it will not exist anymore. And you need to know what's going to happen and where you need. There's a place waiting for you, a new home, not this earth, but a new home for you to spend with God in His love. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming out of heaven from God. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. That's a promise straight from God. And he actually goes on to say that these words are true and reliable. So listen to them and receive them. They're for you. You know, in John 14, and as Jesus saying, 14.2, it says, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not, not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. So Jesus is now preparing a home for you to live with him. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself that where I am there you may also be isn't that a wonderful invitation let not your heart be troubled you believe in God also believe in me that's what Jesus said and in John 14 11 it says believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me John 15, 15 says, If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. The Spirit of truth, for he dwells with you and in you. Then he leaves it, he says, I will not leave you orphaned, I will come to you. So we're believing on the second coming of Jesus and we believe it's very soon but you need to make a decision to be adopted in God's family as a son and in Revelation, the next uh, Revelation 20, 22, 23 God actually says I will be your God and you will be my my sons so it's an invitation for you. Jesus is saying he's preparing a mansion for you. It's there waiting for you right now. He's saying he's coming back to take us and receive us. That's for you too. But you need to make a decision to make Jesus your Lord and your Saviour and surrender yourself to God. And the way to do that is to, to be rebirthed, reborn, it's called being born again and 
Jesus promises to send a helper, God's Holy Spirit, who is the Spirit of Truth. He is the one that, that uh, empowers you to live a, a righteous life and to stop sinning and he'll prepare you for your next life. When we die, the choice is if you've made Jesus your Lord and your Saviour, God will receive you into heaven. If you haven't made, made him your Lord and your Saviour and what you've, really do, what you've really done is said no to God and how can he bless you if you turn your back on him? And it's written in the Bible about the second death and he said the people who the, the die of the second death, their place will be the lake of fire. Uh, it's the fire of sulfur. So you don't want to go there because that, that destination is forever, eternity. Make up your mind to, to be with Jesus. Join us and, uh, and receive the blessing, receive your salvation today. But you need to be cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ and you need to come to God, acknowledge that you're a sinner, ask him to forgive you and turn, turn your life around and focus on God, not the worldly things or the things that you need. Um, and if you do that, he'll send the Holy Spirit to keep you on track and to keep you on the right path. Now, the invitation is for you to come to Jesus now. Come to God. I'm going to share this prayer. The promise is a mansion in heaven for you. God, God's already prepared it for you. Jesus is in there. He'll actually put your name on the front door. I really believe that. He's got a place for you if you receive it. So just say this prayer with us. And I need to say God really loves you. You're special. But you need to, to, to make a decision and see what way you're going to walk. So say this prayer with us. I repent of my sin. Jesus died for me that he was crucified. He arose from the dead. Jesus, come into my heart. Receive God's love and the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.